Hello! In this video, I will show basic operations in EasyMorph, importing a file, querying a database, and applying transformations to modify data. At installation time, EasyMorph will have created a desktop icon for quick launch. Starting the program shows the main interface for the system, with three active areas. Main data operations are performed in the center, the sidebar shows context-specific options, and across the top are tab-delineated sections such as Project, Design, and Report, with the Wizard section at Start. So let's start by importing data from a table. With the main tab active, we click on Import Table. The system gives us an option of importing from Database, File, or generating data by other means. In this case, we're going to click on File and choose to import from a delimited text file. The system presents available files and shows me that states.csv is available. I click on that and open. The sidebar identifies the type of formatting in the file and I apply. And now if we look in our main data section, we see we have an open file table with two fields in it, state long and state short. On the title bar for each field I have a little icon which I can click on and it shows me the options of changing the formatting of the data, modifying it, sorting, modifications for example of changing to upper or lower case, sorting and ascending or descending. Now that we've imported a reference table, we'll move on to querying a database. We'll move to Start, and we're going to open the Database Connection Manager. This is a dialog for managing active imports from databases. And we'll start by making a new connection of a type SQLite. We're going to call it Companies and we'll open the database file, which is already in our example, Companies. Open it, it's found the file, and we say OK. Next, we're going to query the database. We'll open the Query Editor. As we see, we, the connector is for type Companies, is automatically presented, and we'll choose companies as the main table. This immediately presents the active fields of the database. I'm going to unselect them and choose specifics. I'll choose company, city, workers, revenue, and the short form of the state for the company. Additionally, I'm going to create a conditional import by dragging workers into the condition and state that I only wish database records where workers is greater than and a number, which I will set at 50. By leaving inclusive unchecked, it will give me records only with workers at 51 and above. 50 is not included and I can see a preview where I see workers is consistently above 50. I can drag all the way through the list and verify my import. Since I'm now satisfied, I click on Impose to EasyMorph and we now have two files in our active project. The reference table and our database. And just as in the database in the reference table, I can see company, state, city, workers, revenue, and I can click on column identifier to give me a option of modifying the information or changing its format over in the active sidebar. Again, at any time, the active sidebar shows me available options that are context specific 
to the command I have chosen. Now that we have both a reference table and a database, we'll experiment with transformations. We click on Add Transformation to give, in the sidebar as expected, a list of available options. We'll choose to calculate a new column. And we choose the Company 1 database. We could equally drag and drop, for example, by simply taking Calculate New Columns and dragging it on top of the Company 1 database. At this point, we see Company Database has the original import followed by a new unspecified transformation. The sidebar shows the available options. We will go and type in Revenue per Worker and choose the Expression Editor. Expression Editor shows us the available fields and the expression. So I take the, I click on Revenue, Mathematical Function of Division, and Workers. And we see the expression is then built up Revenue per Workers. Clicking on OK has brought back to the sidebar Revenue per Workers is Revenue divided by Workers. And I apply. And if I go now over to Company 1 Database and extend, I see there is a new column, as expected, of revenue per worker, with a very precise set of unreadable numbers. I will click on the column and take from the sidebar in levels of 1000, which tidies things up considerably. Additionally, since I intend to link the reference table and the company table, I note there is a misalignment. The short form of the state is in upper place, uppercase in the reference table, whereas it's in lowercase in the company database. This is easily rectified. I click on the column, drop down my editor, select modify to uppercase. And as I can see, the short form of the state is now in uppercase, as it is in the imported table. Now we're ready to merge the tables. As we can see in the company database, our transformations are import, calculate a new column, and modify to uppercase. And we will now add another transformation, which is merge from another table. Click and drag it on top of the database. And here we are. The sidebar again shows us the available options. State short, match to state short. We say that which we wish to extract is state long, and we apply. And we see on our database, we have now brought in the long name of the state from the reference table. So if we follow our transactions, we have imported a table, we have imported a database, and we have set four transformations. The original import, the calculation of a new column, the modification to uppercase, and the merge from the reference table. This concludes our introductory presentation of EasyMorph.